I bought my riding lawnmower at your typical big box store knowing that quality was probably decent but there was still a lot of opportunities for improvement. I found my first opportunity after a short 24 hours of use when I noticed a fair amount of play in the front wheels. I took them off for closer inspection and not only were they wobbly, but they were also wearing a groove into the axles. What? This is because my big box mower uses bushings in the front axle to keep costs down, and as a result, both the axles and the wheels are meant to wear. Now if you grease these regularly, they'll probably wear pretty slow, but a better solution for your cheap mower is upgrade number one, and that's to replace the front wheel bushings with ball bearings. If your wheels are like mine, it's likely the hubs are going to be too small to just swap in some bearings, and you're going to have to get some new wheels. And with that, you need to pay attention to the offset. As you can see, if I installed the wheels as is, they would sit further out and I'd have a smaller turn in radius. And that's not something I want to sacrifice on my lawnmower. I did some measurements and I was able to get within a quarter inch of the existing offset by just turning the wheels around backwards. But remember, you gotta be close. You're also going to want to check your spindles to make sure the larger hub diameter will seat correctly. To dial in that last quarter inch of offset, there's a few things you can do, and I think most popular is probably to just swing by your local hardware store and buy some washers. I decided to go the extra mile and I machined some precision spacers made of 304 stainless that have a nice snug fit. Before you mount your new wheels up, you also want to inspect the axles for excessive wear, otherwise you're not going to gain much by switching to bearings. My big box mower came with a set of cotter pins holding the wheels on, and while functional, they allow a lot of in and out play. Mowers that ship from the factory with bearings typically use a C-clip or an E-clip to hold the wheels in place, and I'd turn a groove in my axles and do the same. Unfortunately, the axles are welded to the spindles so I don't have that option. I took the next best route and I tapped the cotter pin through a hole so I could hold the wheels in place with a screw and lock nut. When you mate this with precision turn spacers or carefully selected washers, you end up with a wheel assembly that has very little play. Unfortunately, it's still the middle of winter and I can't test out the new wheels mowing, but what I can do is a very unscientific wobble and spin test, and as you can tell, the new wheels are a lot better. What isn't better is John Deere yellow with this paint scheme, but what do I know? Should I paint these or just keep them yellow? It's a mower after all, does it matter? If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. This is only my first upgrade and I have many more planned. Now if I do these upgrades right, this thing's gonna last longer, it's gonna mow better, it's cheaper than a high-end mower, and I had fun along the way too. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.